How's it going, guys? Amagansett Press. We are coming to you today from Destin, Florida. Uh, we are actually right next door to Destin in a little town called Miramar Beach. And uh, some of you might remember, um, almost two months ago, or just about two months ago, we were here and we did a uh, post office audit. Um, and the post office just happens to be right next door to the park that we're staying in. Um, so we actually walked over there when we did that audit. And uh, that was a great video. I uh, highly recommend you check it out, especially if you're watching this video, so it'll give you more context. Um, but the entire property was a disaster last time we were here. I mean, uh, mess, overgrown grass. Signage falling apart. Um, garbage all over the place. Broken door handles. Uh, complete disrepair. I had uh, numerous citizens asking us to try to see what we could do to get them to clean it up. I want it cleaned up. And we're on our way back to, uh, back out west. And we had a nice surprise when we got here yesterday. Looks like the grass is cut. The battered signs are down. We're going to see if the uh, door handles have been replaced. If the garbage got cleaned up, there were numerous things on a list. And uh, I think we actually got them to take some action here. So I think it's going to be very interesting to revisit these folks and see how they're doing. And uh, congratulate them for their success. You know, we like to point out when things go well as much as we like to find things that aren't going so well. And uh, they've really done a fantastic job of cleaning this property up. You'll see it when you check out the other video. Um, I mean, it was really bad. You had weeds growing in the curbs, feet high. I mean, it, just ridiculous. But uh, good on these people that they got something done and cleaned up, and we'll see how it goes here today. So uh, stand by. Hey, Megan, out watch me. What's up? What's happening? Looks like they've done good here. Yeah, so, far, so, good. so the supervisor's name was David. And uh, we're going to see if David's still here and uh, see how he's doing. And uh, thank him for uh, getting stuff done here or find out who did. You notice the curbs? No, this is spectacular. Um, unfortunately, this was not repaired. Um, but, you know. Try to focus on what happened right here today. Even this, it looked like there were a lot more of those bins back there. Like this looks cleaned up, yeah. organized a little better. Doesn't take much to mow the grass and keep things clean. My grandmother always used to say, it doesn't cost anything to be clean. All you need is a little water and a rag. How you doing? Do you know if David is in today? David. David Supervisor, David. No, his name is Brandon. Brandon. Yeah. So David's not here any longer? We got a carrier named David, Barfield. No, there was a supervisor here. I was here about two months ago. No, huh? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. He's over in Destin now. I'm sorry. Oh, he got transferred. Yeah. Okay. Trout. Trout. That was it. Yeah, yeah. Very cool. All right. Thank you, sir. My name's Jason. What was your name? Chris. Chris. Thank you, Chris. Are you making a film? What are you, what are you doing? We are. Yeah, we actually, uh, be quite frank with you, we were informed by some of the citizens here in Miramar Beach that the property here was just in a little bit of disrepair. Grass needed to be cut. There was a broken door handle on the front. You had that banner up on the front about the post office boxes that was all tattered and falling apart. Uh, so we had a conversation with David about getting the place cleaned up, and it looks like somebody took the bull by the horns and did that. The place looks fantastic. So, okay, just coming by to do a follow up. Hey, no worries. Well, I appreciate you, sir. You have a good day. Stay safe.
Yeah. And yeah, I was gonna walk down that way, but you can't. Oh yeah, you can. So I mean, I gotta say it's uh, it's organized. They cleaned it up even uh, back here, and obviously the uh, inside there is restricted, so we don't we don't go into restricted areas. Yeah, it looks like it. I just want to check the uh, door handle on the front. They had, the whole thing was taped up with shipping tape, broken and hanging off. And uh, it'd be interesting to see if they put a new handle on the door. Yeah, they did. Look at that. This handle was uh, yeah. Yeah, that handle was all broken and falling off. And yeah. Very cool. And then up here, up here up top by where the sign is, right underneath it, there was a banner that was completely tattered and falling apart, huge holes in it. And uh, it's gone. There was garbage all over the place out here. Yeah, somebody really uh, made the effort. Oh, and being that this is a follow-up here, I'm a little bit out of sorts. So, time and temperature check. Today is Monday, January 10th. It is 11.16 a.m. and it is 55 degrees, mostly sunny, and uh, a little bit windy here in Miramar Beach, Florida. What's all this about? Hang on. I'll tell you on the way out. Okay. So part of what we do is uh, post office property inspections. Um, and we were here, I don't know how long you've been on this route, probably for a little bit. Yeah. So we were here a couple of months ago and this property was an absolute disaster. The grass was three feet tall. There was a oh, wow. torn signs, that handle was broken. You probably remember that. They had it all wrapped yeah. up with shipping tape and a whole bunch of mess. We had a conversation with the supervisor about that and spoke to the appropriate people and got it cleaned up. So we're just back doing a follow up. <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah. <laughs> All right, yeah, thank you. Have a great day. So FedEx guy is mildly happy about the uh, cleanup here. And you know what, guys, it is important. Well, I got a second I'm standing here. It really is. Um, you know, first of all, any post office anywhere in the country should be uh, presenting the proper image and, uh, you know, maintaining their property just like anybody should. Um, but here, you're in a tourist community. Miramar Beach draws many, many thousands of people here every year. Um, and the rest of the town pretty much does a very concerted effort uh, in keeping things neat and clean and orderly. It's a beautiful town. It's a beautiful area. That includes Destin and uh, the surrounding areas. And, uh, you know, I think it was a little out of place to have this, uh, this mess sitting here. Um, so it's important stuff. It's, it's, it's the image. You know, you go to work every day and you show up to a place that's a disaster and that affects your performance and that affects your attitude. You know, if you show up to a nice clean place that you can be proud of, uh, you know, that'll affect it that way. So, uh, I don't know, I think keeping things neat and orderly is an important thing, whether it's at home, whether it's at work or whatever it is. Hello. Hi. So if you work somewhere that's a mess, take some initiative and uh, start cleaning it up. Maybe the others are, will follow you and uh, you'll have a nice clean place to go to work. People do notice, even if they don't say anything. There was a guy I heard a while back tell a whole story about making your bed first thing in the morning and uh, how important that is. And uh, his take was, if you make your bed in the morning, first thing when you get up and then go about your day, uh, it'll give you a sense of accomplishment to start your day with. And uh, hopefully that'll carry through your day with you uh, but for some reason, if your day goes haywire and things don't work out as planned, at least you can go home to a nice, clean, made-up bed. Hi, guys. How are you? How are you? Good. 
I'm trying to let them start the conversation with me. I don't want to be accused of interviewing anyone. Hello. Is everything is it open? Yes. Oh. Yeah, no, we're actually, are you a customer here at this post office? Yes. Have you noticed that the property's been cleaned up and it's a little nicer yes. looking? So what we do, part of what we do is we do post office property inspections. And we were here a couple of months ago and pointed out to the management here that they needed to address a few things. So we got the door handle fixed for you, the tattered signs taken down, the grass cut, the property cleaned up. And who are you? My name is Jason. But who are you with? We do this independently. I'm with, I do it myself. Okay. This is my son, Ben. Hi, Ben. Nice to meet you. And we've been traveling the country 60,000 miles in the past two years trying to clean things up a little bit and stand up for people's rights and try to add something positive to this world. It looks great. Good. We're, I'm glad you appreciate it. I did, especially walking right over there. <laughs> Very cool. Yeah, the grass used to be like three feet tall. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. No, thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you. Hello. Hi, hey guys. How are you doing? Good. How are you today? Good. Doing well. Good. Glad to hear that. Yep. Hello. Oh, absolutely. You can do as you please. Okay. Are you a, have you been a customer here at this post office for a while? Have you? On. My question is, have you noticed the property's a little more cleaned up than it used to be? Looking good, yeah. So we were here a couple of months ago. Well, part of what we do is, is uh, post office property inspections. So we addressed the condition of the property with the management staff here and got them to clean it up and fix that door handle and cut the grass and take the tattered signs down. So we hope you're enjoying that and appreciating yeah. your new cleaned up post office. Well, thank you. Yeah. No, thank you. Yeah. Appreciate you. Thank you. Hello. Hi. How are you? I'm good. What are you guys up to? We're doing a follow-up here. We actually uh, were here a couple of months ago. Part of what we do are uh, postal property inspections. Oh. And um, I'm, if you've been coming here for a while, you know what the property looked like a couple of months ago? Oh, no. I just got here a couple of weeks ago. Oh, okay. So it was... The grass was three feet tall. There were tattered signs oh hanging up. God. That handle you're holding on to was broken and taped on with shipping tape. Oh, wow. So we had a conversation with the supervisors, got them to take care of all these it's things and address TLC. it. And we're just back doing a follow-up. Oh, awesome. Yeah, well, but, thanks for pushing for that. Yeah, and welcome to Miramar Beach. Thank you. Hello. Thank you. Got you, man. Well, it's like a very relaxed atmosphere here today. I think it was pretty much the same thing last time with the, uh, just the people that, yeah, yeah, you're right. That yeah, you live in a uh, seaside beach community. Why not be relaxed, right? Panhandle of Florida is beautiful. I think it gets overlooked a lot. Everybody goes down to Miami, which is a... Uh, real scene these days it's wonderful if you're into that kind of thing but uh if you're looking for a nice place to relax on the beach and the beaches here are beautiful talk about white sugary sand absolutely beautiful clear water sorry I have a video duel. we are having a video duel yeah and i'm gonna win <laughs> how are you today Good. I, I, so, are I you? Do, uh, I do this for a living too. Do you? Yeah. What do you? What do you video? Well, just everything. Uh, weddings, um, ads, and different things like that. Whatever. Oh, very cool. I used to have a on cable advertising thing, but I sold that. Oh, okay. Programs on stuff like so that. So, do you still take some video? Oh yeah. Cool. Yeah, yeah. Very I cool. just got me a Canon R6 and an R5. Oh, you're going mirrorless. Made the oh, leap. Oh yeah, yeah. There yeah, you yeah, go. Yeah, yeah, I made the yeah. Broke now, but well, I you, made the leap. You yeah. enjoying it? Yeah, I am. What are y'all up to? What y'all? So. Yeah, I'm assuming you've probably been a customer here for a little, for a minute? Ah, uh, well, we from Mississippi, but we have a home here. We come down on occasion. So, have you noticed the property here a little cleaner and a little nicer looking these well, days? Everything looks nice down here from where I'm from. Gotcha. <laughs> so, what happened was, we do, part of what we do is, this is my son, Ben. My name's Jason. Hey, how you doing, son? Good. And part of what we do is uh, post office property inspections. Wow. As strange as that might sound. So wow. we were here a couple of months ago, and the property was, there was three foot tall grass and tattered wow. banners flying, and this door handle was broken, and there was garbage all over the place. And uh -huh. we had a conversation with the powers that being, got them to clean it up. So we're back doing a follow up and just. Uh, That's cool. You need to come to Greenwood and do that one. I don't know who the, I know they build them and lease them. 
but I know the one in Greenwood, the driveways all. And I'm sorry, you said Mississippi? Yeah, Greenwood. Greenwood, yeah. Mississippi. Okay. I mean, it's, it needs some TLC really bad. Well, if any folks out there in the Greenwood, Mississippi area want to go take a look at the post office, there yeah, you have right. it. Yeah. yeah. Awesome. You might need a serpentine coming in to miss all the potholes. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, well, I've been, I've been in places like that before. Yeah, well, good yeah. luck. No, thank you very much. Uh, pleasure speaking with you. Uh, yeah, pleasure. Have a good day. Uh, you too. How are we doing? Did you come to buy a stamp? No, I came to ask you how that gold's doing. Great. Good. Good. It's doing great. Very cool. What do you I have just to want to tell you, you really, we were here last time. You're a shining light for this place, and I really hope these people all appreciate you. Mm. And I hope you get the recognition you deserve. You're you got a wonderful kind. young lady working here. You're very kind. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> she is. She is. She really she is. is. <laughs> well, thank you. It's a pleasure to see you again. Survey. Thank you. You too. Dear. Thank you. Thank you. Here, yeah, we're just gonna take a quick look around the inside, and that's it. But we're everything looks great outside. Everything's really cleaned up and fixed up, and they got the door handle back on, and the ripped up signs are gone, and the garbage is all cleaned up. Place looks wonderful. Well, it was great seeing you again, you too, and we'll see you again one day soon. Okay. Alrighty, thank Stay you. Stay safe out there. Well, all right. Guess uh. Guess that takes care of that. So, uh, yeah, that, uh, you know, things like this make you feel good. And uh, it really, uh, it's a good day. Good, uh, good vibes going around around here today. Um, and uh, very happy to see it. And I'm glad we could have a very small part in making that happen. So uh, also want to thank all of you out there who might have contacted the uh, management here and had that conversation with them. I want to thank you for doing that as well, uh, because you were part of the solution here. And, uh, you know, that's uh, good to see there's some support out there for these types of things and that uh, people actually care. So uh, I think the citizens here in Miramar Beach are a little happier with their post office. And I think, uh, you know, it's, it's good, to, uh, good to bring some smiles to some people's faces. So um, pretty much that's it here today, self-explanatory. Um, not your typical audit that we usually do, but uh, you know, I think it was a fruitful visit. I think it was a good video. And uh, as I said in our last video, we're back out on the road, man. We're back out and uh, we're gonna be uh, out auditing um, full time again. So looking forward to what's coming up next. Appreciate each and every one of you watching and supporting us and uh, doing what you do. Cause without you, there is no channel. Um, on that note, before we leave, always like to invite you to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Easiest way for you guys to support our channels if you're so inclined, and it doesn't cost you a penny. Um, I also invite you to do the same for watching the Watchmen. Kid puts a lot of work into his videos, and uh, there's a lot of information and stuff, maps and things you'll see on his videos you won't see here, so check them out. I'll leave a link in the description. Uh, but that's it. So I'm going to go clean up the... Uh, clean up the RV, get ready to hit the road, get on the road, and go to our next stop. So for now, coming to you from the United States Post Office in Miramar Beach, Florida, and the Destin RV Beach Resort, watching a watchman somewhere out there, Amagansett Press. We'll catch you on the next one, guys. Out.